After 21 years of marriage and three kids, Kevin and Wendy Pauls have just come through a different kind of challenge. For 40 days, they have chronicled their marital journey for us in the Love Dare Challenge. First, let's get to know a little bit about Kevin and Wendy Pauls. Life coach Wendy Pauls and singer-songwriter Kevin Pauls have been on a 21-year adventure of what they call learning to do life together, or in other words, marriage. They met in not-so-ideal circumstances at a youth conference. Wendy, the friend of Kevin's ex-girlfriend, heard the whole story of his breakup with her. And at the end of the, the first night of the convention, she came up to me and goes, are you Kevin Pauls? And I'm like, oh man, that, that probably can't be good. <laughs> And she says, yeah, this girl came to my, and I'm like, you're the, oh, so I'm thinking there's not a chance. She's heard the whole story from that side and it's not going to be pretty. And uh, we ended up hitting it off and uh, we spent the weekend together and at the convention. Wendy was 16, Kevin 18. He says he had already noticed her before they met and was taken by her beauty. For Wendy, something else stood out. I think the thing that first sort of captured me was actually his sense of humor. You know, when we were sitting in those workshops and he's goofing off, <laughs> I'm sure you'll see that side of him come out. You know, they say the things that first attract you are the things that oh, later sure. annoy you. So we'll be seeing some of that, I'm sure. Wow. <laughs> that is great. Kevin and Wendy, welcome to the Full Circle Couch. Thank, Thank you. you. It's Thank so good you. to have you. You know, I think so many people feel like they know you already because we've been following your 40-day vlogging, actually, yeah. is what it's called online. What has surprised you the most of this journey? Hmm. What do you think? 21 I, years of marriage. There can't be that many true. surprises left, could there? What I, what I found probably the most surprising is, is that... Uh, there was no surprises. Every day there seemed to be something and we've either been good at what the dare was or been bad at what that dare was. Yeah. Um, but every, over 21 years, you, you talk about almost everything that we went through in these 40 days and some things you were able to do better and yeah. some things we were able to look back and go, yeah, you know what, we've, we've done those things okay. Would you say it was a good experience overall? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I think it was a really good experience. There were some days for sure that were easier than others. Mm and especially to, to talk about. Mm -hmm. um, for me, the biggest challenge was, you know, talking about the, the days that were actually really easy, because it's like, what do you say? Because right. this is something you do all the time, so it just, you know, what there's a lot of preparation in putting together a vlog. It's not just you just sit in front of a That's uh, my camera. biggest See, surprise. that was the problem. Yeah. We were supposed to prepare. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I totally messed up. Some of the things yeah. I loved on your vlogs, <laughs> Bill, our producer, called it the love dare stare. Because on the vlogs, you're just kind of staring at the camera. And, okay, well, today, you just <laughs> at the end of the day, you're a little tired, but you're very transparent. Yes, yeah. yes. I yeah. was really glad, glad Ron picked up on the hat thing, because I, yeah. I used the hat. It was, it was a good way to... Yeah. 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 Yeah process mm -hmm. and it's hard work I remember when you wrote you like wrote you know I, I love her more I love her still but I realize it's not just 40 days and we're ending and then we're just going back to right. doing nothing and not working mm -hmm. at it but that it is a process you've got to keep at it well most most things that are in our culture now talk about go growing in and out of love so easily mm -hmm. as if it's as if it's something that just happens on a daily thing and and once you go through this process I mean we've been married 21 years there's been greats, there's been bads, there's been uglies. Uh, and if, if you don't understand that it is a process and it's a decision, then it's something you can just stop after 40 days and go, I'm done. Mm -hmm. I know it's, that it's not easy. I know that you guys have been so inspirational to a lot of people because of your transparency. Each of our couples vlogged their journey every day and we happen to have a snippet from day 26 where Kevin and Wendy tackled the challenge to take responsibility for your faults. Let's have a look. Welcome to day 26 of the Love Dare. And before we get into today's Love Dare, I do just want to thank Kevin for uh, receiving my little teasing online really, really well. I'm sure many of you by now have seen the little funny <laughs> video that I put up about Kevin. That was hilarious. To bring a little bit of levity, you know? I mean, this is serious stuff for sure, but it just gives us a little, a little giggle, a little comic relief. 
Uh, I think my timing was really, really good because I did it right before the Love Dare on forgiving. See, but she thinks she got away scot-free. All I know is this is a 40-day... Honey, day 25, love forgives. It forgives. Oh, I forgive you. That's not it. That's not an I'm issue. I'm sure in here somewhere is love does not seek revenge. I'm sure it's in here somewhere. <laughs> we haven't got to it yet, but we might. Um, today's Love Dare is on love is responsible. And the first words actually in the book for this chapter are today will be hard. And this is one of those things, um, gosh, that is hard. The, one of the questions they ask is, are you taking responsibility for your own faults? Um, we are quick to justify our motives, so quick to deflect criticism, so quick to find fault, especially with our spouse who is always the easiest one to blame. And, and I would confess right off the top that um, there have been times where it, I absolutely have blamed you for things because you're just, it's, it is easy to blame you. I know you're still going to love me. Um, but sometimes taking responsibility is tough and it's heavy and it is, it's easier to deflect and it's almost a default response. It's interesting because a lot of this um, we've had to do in different times in our, in our marriage. Uh, right now, it's easier to talk about this because it's nothing pressing right at the moment that we're going through. But I remember going through a few of these moments where we've, where we've had to sit in the car and look at each other and figure this out as we're, <laughs> we're going, okay, what got us here? What are we doing? Um, so these are very tough moments. Like I say, today for us, we can look back and we can talk and, and there are some things we're still tweaking, but those moments looking back were one of the toughest days. I, I love I love what happens after. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But going through those moments of, uh, of discovery is, is very painful. Yeah. I think taking responsibility can be a really heavy and difficult thing. And at the time, it's like carrying a burden. And, and what you want to do is you want to, in a lot of ways, get that off. And sometimes the way you try to do that is by putting it on someone else. Um, definitely not a good way to handle it, but I think something we do naturally. We do it right from, from childhood when we say, it wasn't me, you know, it was, it was him, it was her. So it's, it's kind of a, a natural human response. Wow, now these are alive forevermore. Uh, not only can our viewers see all of your vlogs, you're gonna continue to interact with so many who are really looking for input. They, they're not having the easy road. Mm -hmm. uh, it may just be one person in a marriage that's struggling, looking for help and encouragement. And you, you're, you're on. We don't want it to end. I mean, we're gonna mm -hmm. continue to go on that blog and, mm -hmm. and see if people wanna interact. I mean, that's, it, we said that's at the very sweet. beginning, if we can encourage anybody mm -hmm. to, mm -hmm. to make sure they make it past 20 years yeah. and, and another yeah. 20 years, mm -hmm. I mean, that's huge. And it's so. probably good for your relationship too to continue on with this because you're talking constantly Absolutely. about issues and things that you need to work through and yeah. it just keeps you talking. We said the, it wasn't each dare that made a difference, it was the fact that every day we were actually thinking about us. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. And so that gets mm -hmm. you on that path which is, which is really that's good. That's really good. Spending well, time. Thank you yeah. so much.